there. I've not been doing very much with IT videos recently, but I've had a request, so here is a video to fill the gap. Of course, one of the things you want to do most on your mobile phone is take photos, and when you've taken photos, you need to know how to send them to other people. And WhatsApp is one of the very best methods of doing this, so this is what we'll look at today. We'll go over to the phone, so off we go. So I'm going to tap on my WhatsApp button and we're going to stick with my sister Jane. We've come up in her feed. If I tap the button top left, I go back to my main feed. I'm going to pick actually on my other sister because I've been sending rather a lot to Jane. I'm going to go for Nikki. Second down. And up come the... Um, List of messages, and down at the bottom is the type of message screen, but box I should say. And we're looking at the buttons over on the right hand side, and we're going to go for the paperclip button, which is on the left hand side of those three. So I'm going to tap the paperclip, and up come the six little buttons, the options. Today we're going to look at the one that I think you'll use more than any other, which is the gallery button, which is top right. So this really is one to take note of. The gallery is where you store all the photos that you have taken yourself on your camera. Uh, uh, sorry, I should say on your phone camera. And where any photos that people have sent you through your WhatsApp messages and emails and things like that, they will all be stored in your gallery. So I'm going to tap the gallery button and it opens up and it's divided all my different pictures into different sections. So top left, I've got camera. Top right, I've got all media. And then just below, all videos on the left or WhatsApp images on the right, etc, etc, etc. Now, um, if I know which picture I want to send, I can get there quicker by going directly to the relevant section. But if I'm not quite sure where it is, one of the top two boxes are going to be the ones I go for. The all media gives me every picture. In fact, if you look along the uh, bottom of that box, all media is written on the left hand side and over on the right hand side is a number 984. That number tells me how many pictures are stored within this section. And I've got 984 to choose from. If we move over to the left hand side, which is the picture of the dog. At the bottom on the left, it says camera. These are all the pictures from my camera. And over on the right hand side of the box, it says 509. There are 509 pictures in there, which is a lot, but considerably smaller number than 984. So I am going to tap on camera and have a look in here. OK, plenty of pictures. I simply need to perhaps scroll down, maybe your finger at the bottom of the screen and push upwards and find a picture that you want to send. I'm now actually going to put my finger at the top of the screen and push downwards and I'm going to send her one of the recent pictures. Um, I shall go for, yes, a nice painting I bought recently, this one here with the red background. Now, just like the camera picture last time, at the bottom of this screen is the add a caption box. And I can tap on add a caption and it lets me put in a message. So, And when I finish typing, I tap the green button on the right hand side, the send button. And off it goes. 
So that's it. And that's it. So that is how you play. Uh, that is how you send your photos. Send one, two at a time, not too many. Photos take up a lot of memory. So to be honest, on WhatsApp, actually, it does it for you. It pretty much uh, sorts it all out. You, you bring one up, you send it, you bring another up, you send it. You can send a few at once, but um, that can sometimes be a problem with the phone memory. So I do them one at a time while you're beginning. OK, so if you've got any questions, do ask. Uh, put them in the comments down below. And uh, if it's all great, let me know down below. And in the meanwhile, subscribe, which I think is the button I get lost here. I Yes, I think it's the button on that side. So just click that and you subscribe and you'll be able to see all my videos in the future. OK, nice to see you again and goodbye. See you soon.